hi guys welcome back to today's video today i come in peace and i hope that as you are watching this video you are going to open your mind you open your spirit you open your thinking faculty to think before you you criticize me about this video before you lash me about this video i want you to think okay i want you to think and if you are going to bash me please be merciful don't bash me too much too much of everything is a sin is a sin if you are going to cost me cost me small small don't cost me too much too much of everything is a sin okay today i'm going to be talking about marriages in germany let me just use Germany for example because I live in Germany. If you come to our black community, marriage is facing big challenges. Big challenges. Honestly. If 1,000 people, 1,000 Nigerians or Africans are married in a year in Germany, before the end of that year, 60% don't scatter. 60% don't scatter. In fact, more than 60% don't scatter. Why? Is what you're going to ask. A lot of people will say, um, yeah, it's because of the women. A lot of people will say it's because of the men. They keep blaming the husband. They keep blaming the wife. They keep blaming them. I want to tell you something today. Majority of the marriage that are no more today, the pressures that destroy such homes are from families back home. Pressures back home. I will give you an example. When women marry, here in Germany, they don't work. Majority of them are not able to work for three good years. It's only the men that work. And in that three years, if you don't have savings, you will have financial challenges. The family will have a lot of financial challenges. In the sense that she just had a child. Her husband is at work all day. She's home alone with her child. Nothing to do. Okay, apart from the house chore and take care of the, 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 the kids and still take care of the man because the man is working. By the time the man comes back home, he's already tired. She has no help. She has nobody coming to help her. She's all by herself. She's not earning money. Or if there's someone who has worked, she's earning 80% of what she was earning before. The 80% of what she was earning before she got pregnant might be 800, might be 1,000 euro. Then they have a newborn baby added to it. Three people. So they have a newborn baby. The husband is still earning the same thing. The, the wife is earning less and then they have a child. That is three people's expenses. From what? And even the salary has reduced. The family back home will keep demanding. The family of the wife will demand and demand and demand. Not minding that the woman has stopped working. Some of us who has hearts, who does not, who cannot see our family and friends cry, you'll be pressurized. Husband's family will be dragging the man this side. The wife family will be dragging the wife this side. That's how they've been dragging the two family. See, the people that are dragging them are extended family. Now, they still have their own family needs that are also there wanting their attention, wanting, want, wanting to be taken care of. The wife is exhausted. The, the man is exhausted. They start asking themselves if they are not strong enough, if they cannot sit down and reason and say, hey, you will just hear Hey, issues everywhere. They will start. 
okay let us let us solve this problem from the wife's side the husband will say hey, why should we solve that one but what about me the okay let us solve the husband's own side hey what about the wife who say guinea what about why what about my own family these people will forget their own present family their own immediate family as in their own family that they join together they will forget their own family eh? and start worrying about extended family they will carry that cross on their head until their own family will be nowhere to be found anymore i am not saying that eh, this is the only reason but 70 percent see for me to come out come and make this video my eye don't see when my ear don't nearly block i will talk about other aspects but i want to plead with you people extended family in all over africa allow your sons and your daughters in europe in, in diaspora allow them to breathe you have sisters and brothers you have the ones that are married together in nigeria in south africa in kenya in cameroon there are some of your family that's in cameroon there's some of your family that's in zimbabwe they are all they are married happily married you don't bother them you don't look into them in fact you don't feel bother them but this one that are here that you don't even know if they have food to eat you people will be dragging them before the husband will come back the family will say hey, before you married you were doing this since you married this man you're not doing anything again the woman will start thinking where have i gone wrong they will call the man since you married this bad woman why will you marry from this kenya woman if not be said this kenya woman problem don't start if extended family back home will allow foreigners here breed their marriage will succeed if that's your child that man that married your child from nigeria a man came from europe came from america married your son, daughter your own thing your own thinking is that this your daughter that is going to is your investment you have failed as a parent you have failed as mother you have failed as father you have failed as brothers you have failed as sisters that child has your your daughter has not even a right to a destination you have said demanding what are you demanding for so if she start making the husband dry you don't even know if the husband have or not you will see that woman that came to nigeria to come and marry husband you say ah you don't win your son don't win jackpots your son never had it you don't they tell her how you will take treat the woman so that the woman property will become your own and you people will be in the on the internet you people will be in Africa. You people will be in any country where you are. You'll be saying, marriages abroad does not last. Hey, people did not allow it to last. Is it people's fault? 70% of it is your fault. Leave the people, marriages in diaspora, leave them alone. They struggle every day. They work every day. They have nothing to show for it because the husband is carrying responsibility wife is carrying responsibility at the end of the day they will carry responsibility of extended family and forget their own family and you will be the first person to come to the internet and say ah that will not be married for abroad you as a mother or as a father you have been living in that three bedroom apartment that you built your husband gave you or you people rented before your daughter travel you have been there managing before that man came to Nigeria to marry your daughter, or come to Kenya to marry your daughter, you have been managing that your child has gotten to America, gotten to US, gotten to anywhere. Not even up to six months. You want five bedroom flats. You want a mansion. You want to drive car. At whose detriment? Their own marriage. You are not saying that you are not an enemy of progress to your own daughter. You will not say you are not a blocking block. I'll stop here today but for those of you that will come to comment section to come and abuse i have told you people if you want to abuse me abuse me small because so much of everything is a sin